The last MTZ556 build I made was targeted primarily around movement. This time around, I wanted to make a very versatile build by combining those movement attachments along with damage range and recoil control. Well, versatility, basically what I said, we're getting the best of all kinds of worlds with this particular build, not the fastest paced as well, when you compare it to my last one, but still very, very fast simply due to the fire rate and the mobility you have with this weapon. And it does have the potential to basically shoot across the map with the additional attachments on this thing. My first attachment here is the Jag Cutthroat Stock to target all of the mobility I was referring to. It's going to massively increase your aim walking speed, aim walking steadiness and movement. The big one here is the ADS movement speed, 21%, and it's going to be a big part of your stray speeds. Yes, we are sacrificing recoil control, but those are going to be made up for later on in the build. My next attachment here is the Bruin TR-24 Assault Grip. Not much explaining needed. We just lost recoil control, and we needed to make up for it with this particular attachment. 10% to the gun kick, 7% to the horizontal and vertical recoil control. Along with that, we are even gaining fire aiming stability to help with the shake on the weapon. Our next attachment here is the Paracord Grip. I've used Use this in well i think three of my last four videos so it should speak volumes to how good this thing is by giving you horizontal recoil control sprint to fire speed aiming out of sway and aim walking steadiness you're getting a little bit of everything to basically round out a very versatile build here it's going to give you two percent to the gun kick 15 percent to the horizontal recoil control six percent to the ads movement speed and then 13 percent to the sprint to fire speed a very versatile attachment for a versatile build for my muzzle here i am going with the zem compensated flash hider just my particular cup of tea here it controls the shake on the weapon and we're also getting an even further boost here towards your recoil control with very little sacrifice to ADS, only 5% there, and an additional 5% to horizontal, 15% to vertical recoil control. The final attachment you're going to need to focus on things like damage range is the MTZ Clinch Pro Barrel. Not only is this going to give you bullet velocity and damage range, though, it's going to give you fire aiming stability, which is what really gives it that steady approach. There's really no shake on the weapon with all of the attachments that I put on with the addition of this one, a 21% increase here to the barrel or I'm sorry, the damage range and 26% to the bullet velocity. As you can see, looking at all of our statistics, our movement's really good. Our ADS is really good. Our sprint to fire is really good. And now our damage range is really good. Really hitting home on the versatility stand. So here's all those attachments on the screen. If you guys needed to pause the video to copy these ones down, I highly recommend you do so. You guys are gonna be flying around the map, shooting across the map with very little recoil. And on top of that, it's gonna kill really, really quick. Here's also the rest of the loadout on the screen that you guys can also feel free to copy down. If you guys want, make sure you guys are hitting the like and subscribe button for me we're going to jump into today's gameplay to feature my MTZ 556. Hope you guys enjoy. Going with a little bit of what I like to call a versatility approach here with the MTZ 556. Obviously, the fast fire rate really complements the close range play, but without the correct attachments, you can definitely find yourself struggling in the recoil front. So that more or less, that's what's what's happening here. Targeting some recoil. I also targeted some movement, which again, in theory, should help the cause as well. So good to know there's two AFKs. I really hope they get kicked because I'm not trying to deal with all that. I hate jumping into games where people are AFK. I've had, I don't know if you guys have ever seen one of those bot lobbies. Like, uh, I don't know if they're for people to like boost the camo lobbies, whatever they're called. Where people actively like have like 10 accounts and they get you into a lobby and you're playing it's only AFKs. I actually got into one of those the other day and obviously I laughed because I have every camo in the game and I personally don't see the point of it, but just the point is, is I did. I knew this guy was gonna get me at least once with his stupid freaking Claymore. Oh my God. Wait, somebody behind me died. I don't know if that was like a rotation play or if somebody was actually behind him. Looks like my team actually flipped the spawn here, so I got to pay attention. They did. That's Mr. Claymore. This is where they should be spawning. That's what I'm concerned about. Oh, that UAV should definitely help. I got my own UAV to work with now. 
I, I actually had this problem last time I was playing. Actually, somebody... So what happened was they were moving like quite a bit. So they would get a kill or something, move around the map, and it wouldn't end up kicking them from the game, which is rather annoying in my opinion. Need recon overhead. Switching mag. So the long story short is they would never end up getting kicked from the game, and I'd just be forced to continue to play against these people that were AFK. Not really vibey in my opinion. I'd much rather play against people that are playing the game actively trying to win shooting at me you know what i mean i know you guys know what i mean i'm sure you guys have played against afks before except well i mean a lot of you probably don't care that was almost tragic I could veto it here. I'm thinking about it. My Vantry V is about to go away. Yeah, I'm going to hit veto and UAV. So we'll drop this here. There's a guy there. Just don't know where he is. It looks like whoever was AFK is now playing. So that's a W. Switching we see him. I don't know if this is going to be a vibe gunfight. I'm concerned about where they're at. I'm going to spawn behind me. Because my teammates all pushed up. Let's go. I don't know. I was playing so aggressive. Okay, this guy is definitely playing. There's no way he just, he's still in the game. There's just no way. One kill off advance. There it is. Need recon overhead. Copy advanced UAV is entering the A. Reloading. In theory, this should lock us down. Our MGB, if I can play this properly, not overextend in any kind of way. Staring at this. Advanced UAV here. Twenty nine. I need one kill. There it is. Now we can hit the VTOL. Not the uh, not my fastest paced MGB ever. Not my slowest either. I was going to chase that guy, but I'm just going to leave him for now. All right, we got to get this kill count up. Is this guy back in the water? Not where you th sure where you think you're dipping off to. Not on my watch, sir. That just got me a three piece. Love that for me. I want them to take control of that hill. Ow, 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 ow.
Got it up to 60. UAV is in. Oh my god, don't see me. Oh, he saw me. I couldn't get rid of the dang tablet, man. We'll just drop it right in. Got a... How much time's left on this? Oh, it's done. I haven't been able to lock any kills in here. I'm just going to nuke it. I ran out of time. Listen here, Ivan. You've been camping all day, brother, with your claymores. All right. Definitely crank that kill count up. We ended up with 67, 68, 69, 70. I don't know where all these kills just came from. It was definitely at like 66, 7. Um, okay.